Remember to check the description below for this week's Server Spotlight. Hey you guys, it's Ben and welcome back to episode... I don't know if you are <laughs> bucket minigame tutorials. Um, let's collapse that. So, today, uh, we're going to be looking at... So, last episode we did about kits, and we did... We made this kit class, which is going to handle all of our kits. And uh, I'm actually just going to close this bar here. And I might as well close that as well. Okay, um, so we made this class kit, this class, class <laughs> this kit class, uh, and this is going to handle all of our uh, our kits. But at the moment, you know, players aren't actually getting kits. So the first thing we're going to do is when the game starts, we're going to give a player his kit. And as we have this give kit method, that already clears their inventory. We don't first of all need to clear their inventory before we give them the kit. So we can just call this kit method, and it will clear the inventory and replace whatever is in the inventory with um that. Also, I made a stupid for some reason. If we go into the clear inventory method, which everyone pointed out, I have no idea why I did this. Um, instead of setting armor contents to this, we can just set armor contents to null and get rid of this method. Uh, and that will just set it as, as nothing. No idea why I did it like the way I did. Never done it like that before. I have, I guess. But, you know, since I never normally do it like that, which is very strange. Uh... Must have derped. So anyway, when the game starts, so in our game class, uh, before or after we teleport them to the game, we need to give them their kit. So if we type kit uh, dot get kit for the player, so the player that we found, and we're going to say dot give kit player, like so. So in this get kit method, we're going to return the player kits, blah, 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 and if they don't have a kit, so if their kit, if they're not in this kit list, we're just going to uh, return the uh, the default kit. So they're always going to have a kit, you know, if they don't already have a kit. Um, so that is how we're going to do that. So that's just going to give them the kit in here, no matter what, you know, they're going to get a kit. Uh, what we need to do now is if we, uh, we want to make them able to select their kit. So, uh, what we have to do is we need to make a new listener in our player thing. And this is going to be a new class, and we're going to call it player interact event, or not interact event, uh, player or it be, okay, so we need to actually not make it in our player class. We need to make a new package, or so we can make a new class. So in our package, comms at the bucket or dot listeners or whatever your package name is so dot listeners uh, dot inventory inventory like so we're going to call this inventory click uh, the super class is going to be mg listener like so and we're going to automatically construct uh, constructors from the super class so in here we're going to make an at event handler uh, it's going to be public void on inventory inventory click uh, that's inventory click event event like so and import all of those things. So we've made this inventory. Sorry about the pause. Um, we made this inventory click event. So this is going to register whenever a player clicks in an inventory. So when the player joins a game, so if we go into our player listeners and player join, we want to give. They, oh, we've already done it. We've, we've given them this diamond sword item. So now. We have the they have this diamond sword item, and when they click it, we want to make it able so that they will open an inventory. So we need to make a new class, and we're going to call this one player interact player interact event, and the super class again is going to be mg listener, and it's going to construct us from super class, and in here we need to type at event handler public void on player interact, and then player interact event player interact event event, okay. So in here, what we are going to do is we are going to make it so when they click the diamond sword, it's going to open inventory for them. And then our inventory click event, when they click on a kit, it's going to, um, you know, select that kit for them. So the player interact entity event. So first of all, we need to check if they have an item in the hand. So if event dot get item is equal to null, then we're going to return because it's a null item. If the event dot get item dot get type is equal to material dot air, like so. Return because it's air. Um, is equal to not air. Sorry, is equal to oh, yeah. I guess that works. So it's equal to air. 
and then we're going to copy this and we're going to type or it's equal to null. Then we're going to, you know, return out of this again. And then finally, uh, if event dot get item uh, dot get type is equal to material dot diamond sword. And uh, the game has started is false because they won't have any other items in their inventory currently. Uh, so the game hasn't started, so they, they basically just have this item in their inventory, uh, and the type is a diamond sword. So it's definitely the kit one. There's no other way it can be. We're going to make a new inventory. So inventory inventory i equals new inventory. Oh no, not new inventory. Inventory. I'm going to call it. Let's call it um, inv equals bucket dot create inventory. Right, the inventory holder, there's no inventory holder, that is null, not nil, null, um, like all of the England games. Okay, right, uh, the size, it's going to be, um, let's make it 27, so it's three rows down. This number has to be divisible by nine. Let's just make it three rows down. Um, and now we have to put in the name of the inventory in here. I think if we if I do that, I'll show. You. Yep. So string title. So the title is going to be kit selector. Go if you're going to Hoover. I apologize. Um, so that's going to create the inventory. So now we have this inventory created. Uh, we need to add things into the inventory. So what we need to do is we need to get all of our kits and get the display items for all of our kits. This is the wrong class. There we go. Right. Uh, where's the actual kit class? There we go. So we need to get all of our kits and get the display items for each of our kits uh, and display it in the, in the inventory. So if we say for kit k colon kits or kit dot, I do not have a method yet. So if we go back into our kit class, uh, we need to make a, a public static kit or to be a, a list of kits, a list. <laughs> A kit, wait, a, a lit, okay, list kit, <laughs> get all kits, and then return all kits, like so. So now we can in here type kit dot get all kits, like so. Um, and then we can say inventory dot add item k dot get display item, like so. So we're going to get the display item for each of the kits and put it into the thing. Now, we actually can't do this, I don't think. Or, or did we actually add it in? We'll find out. We can do this. We can just put it straight in there. Right, cool. So that's going to add all of the kits into this kit selector inventory. So finally, we need to get the player to open the inventory. So player.open. We haven't got the player yet. So event.getplayer.open inventory inventory. So now they're going to open that inventory, and that inventory is going to have all the kits in it. So, inventory click event. We want to, first of all, check the name of the inventory they're in. Um, and the name of the inventory that we have done is kit selector. So if we uh, go into inventory click event, and first of all, let's get the player who clicked. So player player equals event dot get, uh, get who clicked, basically. Um, and we need to actually check that it's a player first. So if event dot get who clicked, is an instance of player return and then invert this whole thing so invert all of that so if the player who didn't click if the player who clicked isn't a player then we're going to just return out this and then we can cast event we can cast the human entity to player because we are sure that it's definitely a player which you know will be anyway so now we need to check actually as well before we get the player we need to check if event dot get inventory dot get name dot equals ignore case equals ignore case kit selector then return and then invert this whole thing so if the inventory isn't the kit selector then return so because the inventory is the kit selector whenever they click on something we want it to just be cancelled um, so first of all we should type event or set cancel true because we don't want anything to change in the inventory they can't take things out they can't do any of that stuff that whatever they do is just cancelled so we first of all now want to check if they've clicked on an item. So if event dot get, uh, and then it's in here somewhere. I forget what it is. Uh, do, 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 do. 
So I think it's just get current item. Yeah. So if event dot get current item is equal to null, then return. So this is what we're just doing our checks. So let's separate this out a bit. So if the current item is null, then we don't need to do anything. Um, also, if the current so oh we can actually let's let's make this a bit simpler for us. So uh, item i equals event dot get current item. It's an item stack from org dot bucket item through item stack. So if the item stack is equal to null, then return. If the item stack's type, so item stack get current type, is equal to null, then return, like so. And again, same for air. So if it's or, or air, so or um, i dot get type is equal to material dot air. So if if it's an invalid item or it's nothing, then just uh, return out of it. Um, so now we know that the item is an item, so we can, uh, you know, now we have an item. So now we need to find out what item uh, this, this is, and because we have the, uh, the display name set to the, the name of the thing, we can find that out quite easily. So we can now say kit k equals i dot get item meta dot get display name, uh, and we, sorry, equals kit dot get kit. I'm um, getting the, the name of the kit, like so. So we're going to say kit kit equals kit or get kit, this kit. And now we're going to say kit dot set kit for the player, the kit we have, which is k. Uh, we could just call this kit for, you know, making it look pretty, making it more understandable. So now we're setting the kit as this player's kit, and then we can send the player a message. So we can say player dot send message, chat color dot green. Uh, kit and then the name of the kit so k or kit dot get name uh, selected like so and then maybe we we make the kit name bold so or no let's we'll leave that for now um, so yeah that is actually probably going to be it for this tutorial uh, next tutorial we might be looking at sort of getting the uh, the configuration and setting up the uh, the kits so that they can yeah I think, I think we'll do that next tutorial. So next tutorial we'll be looking at uh, in our config setting up kits and allowing for the uh, the kits to be inputted into the config and then immediately just be in here and we don't have to edit any of the code. So um so yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.